Tell me if you know anything about your opponent in this record. I don't. I've been trying to find out, but nobody knows him. I can sit on a very good sign. <laughs> I think he's Scandinavian, maybe from Denmark. Uh, but I wasn't able to find anyone from Denmark there. And I'm not sure they want to tell me anything about his kids anyway. They're probably all rooting for him. Master, tell me if you know anything about your opponent. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I've heard his first name. 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 Do you uh, have any different strategies this round from previous rounds? Uh, no, not really. I'm just trying to clean up this game and uh, hope we'll be the luck. The stand is played on the board consisting of 24 narrow triangles called The board is divided into four quadrants, each player cold and cold. These are separated from each other by a reach down the center called the bar. The point furthest away for one player is in 24 points. And it is also there on this one point. At the start of the game, each player has 15 seconds of his own color. Two on the 24 point, five on the 13 point, three on the 8 point, and five on the 6 point. Each player uses two dice. You double the key, you can win those two to 60 points, and you can win the space for the game. The object of the game is to pay all your seconds off before your time. They cannot start to do this until all seconds are in their own game. The minimum number of kicks that a player must play to take on all 15 seconds. One, to move a back check into the end floor. Two, accepting the cue offered by the player, thereby agreeing to double the number of kicks that a player must play. Two, to decline the cue offered by the player, thereby conceding the cue to double the number of kicks. This is a semi-final between Lassa Madsen and Nat Ballard. The loser of this match is guaranteed $60,000, but what they're really playing for is a place in the final. Well, four left here in the Bahamas, and you can tell that place in the final awaits just by looking at the heavy grimaces and the thorough crowds. What matchups we have, and it's definitely the German on one side, but who between the very established Ralph Jonas and the up-and-coming Andreas Martin. And on the other side, a real David and Goliath story between the giant Matt Ballard and the internet qualifier, the game likes the matchup. But who would try it? Well, this is similar like that by any of we're coming in well into the semifinal match. Madsen's led the entire way in the 21-point match. The current score is 18 to 15. Ballard has cut the lead to 18 to 15 to make it very exciting. This game is shaping up to be really on a knife's edge. Which way it goes? 4-2. Two. two players make an extra point inboard or make the uh, nine point, putting an effective six block. I, I, I must admit, I prefer instinctively the uh, the block on the uh, Ballard's men on the three point, but. Certainly worthy of consideration. What Ballard's thinking about now is doubling. As you can see from the graphic, he's about a two to one favorite to win this game. He's doubled. What do you think, Julian? I think this is a take. He's got a very playable position. It's a position that could go wrong, and certainly um, uh, from, from Madsen's position, uh, the cube looks very interesting in score. I well, think taking a double is uh, the end of the match. He's taken it. Now it's up to Ballard to try to improve his position. He rolls 3 2, which really doesn't do much of anything. Ballard basically passes with the play. Double four. Double fortunate. Madsen could not have thrown anything better, establishing a five-point anchor and moving all the way down to re-establish that nine-point that I felt he should have made a couple of moves ago. Well, he's got it now, and he's basically neutralized the game. The game is, is goes either way now. Ballard has rolled 4-2, but thanks to the anchor that Madsen has made, it's very difficult for Ballard to make progress. There's really not much he can do. Probably hitting loose in the two-point is, is all that's available. Yes, he has the, uh, the, the relative safety of the three-point to some degree of insurance against uh, a bad sequence here. Madsen rolls 6-2, which hits, but he has no good six. Rather than destroy his blockade by breaking his eight-point, slotting the five-point is clearly indicated. It looks crazy, but it's, it's the best play. There's no other good option. And once again, Madsen also has that insurance policy of his opponent's five-point, so he can weather a, a, a series of hits. Ballard has failed to hit, and this is crucial. The, the, the game is easing toward Madsen's direction.
direction. Ballard has no constructive play. He basically, once again, just buys time and hopes for something better in the future. Now, Madsen really needs to close his five-point, if possible. And that's a 2-6, so he, he takes the hit. Right, he can't, he can't close his five-point, but fortunately, he can hit that one lone blot on the midpoint. Now it's back to Ballard. Ballard desperately needs a five. Without a five here, he's in trouble. Not only did he fail to roll the five, he rolled one of the nine numbers that failed to enter from the bar. The advantage and initiative is clearly with Madsen now. Double ones. This is an excellent shot. It closes the five point. It also shifts from his eight point to a seven point, which will put pressure on his own one point in case Ballard enters there. This is an excellent position for Madsen. Ballard's in trouble. You can see the percentage uh, reflect now the significant swing of the game from Ballard, who cubed earlier on to Madsen, who's now looking like a three to one favorite to win this game. Ace deuce for Ballard's a tricky play. He can come in with the ace and then just step forward, or he can come in with the ace and hit. He's chosen to hit. This this leads to more complications, but I'm not sure it's the better play. It's a difficult one. If he hit, is hit on the two point, he can reestablish himself on the one, improving timing. I think he's hedging his bets, allowing two different ways of, of winning the game. And Madsen came back with 2-6, put Ballard on the bar, and brought a builder in. Ballard is once again under great pressure to roll a one, but he stays out again. Yeah, Madsen will be thinking, 